Good morning. Again, it's uh, really a joy for me to see you come and join us in our uh, worship today, both in Zoom and in person. And we are blessed that we have this opportunity of coming together for the Lord. So I hope that you are uh, blessed as I am blessed every time we have time spent together in the presence of God. So welcome to our uh, uh, worship today and to you brothers and sisters in Zoom, a blessed uh, day Sunday to you and to uh, our guests and visitors who are there. We welcome you in uh, with the spirit of God and the love of God as we uh, worship as well as with you our brothers and sisters here in this uh, in our uh, building uh, to you uh, being faithful uh, praise god and for our uh, guests visitors i uh, feel at home and feel that you are a part of us as a family of god so uh, let us now come to the presence of god as we uh, uh, worship him and I'm going to ask thank you sister Christelle for leading us today um, could you please stand if you are able come and worship we will praise the one between within and over trust in the one who co-creates that was the now and the will be our hope is in the one who creates expansive love, calling us to do the same. Follow the one who never breaks covenant. We follow the one whose extravagant love calls us to co-create justice for the oppressed, feed the hungry, unlock prisons, and welcome strangers, orphans, and windows. 
Praise, praise the, the one whose justice is graceful and, and inclusive. We, we praise the spirit that spans the ages. The ages. Amen. Amen. Uh, let us sing our song of praise. Heavenly Father, give us a vision of our world as your love would make it. A world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor. A world where the benefits of civilized life are shared and everyone can enjoy them. A world well, where different races, nations, nations and, and cultures, cultures live in tolerance and mutual respect. respect. A world a where, where peace is built with justice, justice and justice, justice is guided by love. 
and give, give us the inspiration, inspiration and courage to build, to build it. it through, through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading is found in Luke 16, 19 through 31. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs could come and lick his sores. The poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried in Hades, for he was being tormented. He looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. He called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am in agony in this flame. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime, you received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner, evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. Besides all this, between you and us, a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who might want to pass from here to you cannot do so, and no one can cross from there to us. He said, Then, Father, I beg you to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may warn them, so that they will also into this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. They should listen to them. He said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He, he said, said to, to him, them, if they, if they do, do not, not listen, listen to Moses and, and the prophets, prophets neither, neither will they be convinced, convinced even, even if someone rises from, from the dead. dead. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you. You may be seated. Show yourself to be 
Amen with that song. Thank you very much, our uh, brothers and sisters, the uh, Maloyan and Marker family, for rendering us again a uh, beautiful and powerful message to that Lord of all to me. Well, today is the last Sunday of this month of uh, September. And uh, next week is another month and we will have the first Sunday, as always, we do our communion. But I uh, praise God that even when uh, uh, seasons, months after months, uh, you know, months change, uh, we are not moved. Instead, we are all in one faith that uh, we are gathered and we continue to serve. And I praise God that our church is celebrating its 53rd year of service. So we've gone through a lot of years, seasons in and seasons out, and still God is faithful and we are faithful. And thanks be to God for that. And you are here and you continue to serve. And uh, But I know what it is when we when we do our thing as people follow the Lord, and we know that it's not, you know, it's not easy. It's not a smooth road. It's not just a smooth, it's not a smooth highway, but we have bumps on the road. But what makes it really exciting and, and really uh, amazing is that God has never let us. I hope and pray that you continue to have that in your heart. You are stamped as a child of God serving. You know what? As I've said, being a Christian, to follow Christ is not easy. But it's a, a really a matter of spirit. It, you know, being a Christian is not just a label that you have to carry and show. It's about you have to act out, out. We have to act it out in life through building relationship. And says here, Jesus said, you are not a Christian if you're not a caring person. And Jesus put the emphasis here. You know, uh, scripture that we know in Matthew, you know, uh, he tells those that have neg neglected the hungry, the thirsty, the naked, the lonely. Remember this reading? These verses, taking care of the sick and those visiting people in prison that they have totally missed life. You know, if you are not doing this, Jesus said, depart from me. And then he turns around and says to those who had cared for the hungry, the thirsty, the naked, and the sick, and the prisoner, and tells them to enter into the joy that has been prepared for you since the beginning of time. Caring people are moving into the presence of God. And caring people are moving away from the presence of God. And we know this teaching. We know it well. We can do everything else. Now live an absolute, righteous, correct life. Keep all the laws, you know, the do's and the don'ts. And even give our body for, uh, to be burned for the wrong reasons but ignore the love of people and the spirit that cares about people. We are not living if we do not care. We will not make it eternally if we do not care. So this is what Jesus said. Remember Simon Peter? When, when Jesus was seeking to bring Simon Peter back, 
into fellowship after, you know, he denied Jesus three times. He asked Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And Peter said that he did. And then he, Jesus said, feed my sheep. And again, Jesus came back. Simon Peter, son of Jonah, do you love me? And again, Peter answered impatiently and said, yes. Yes, Lord. And again, Jesus said, feed my sheep. But then the third time, Jesus came back and said to Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And Simon declared that he, that he did. And Jesus quietly commanded him, feed my lambs. The love of Christ is not just words. And Peter did realize in the third time that really it is a matter of obedience, matter of loving and the love of Christ is really expressed and shown in caring. Jesus tells the story of the rich man and Lazarus, the beggar who died on his doorstep. And uh, this rich man really is, has a lot of, a lot of blessings, a lot of stuff, especially on his table. He feasted in luxury every day. His daily fare was far beyond reasonable eating, you know. And he didn't call any, anywhere, any, anybody to drag Lazarus away. He didn't even see him. He didn't care. You know what? Uh, 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 Barclay, a, uh, a Bible uh, layman uh, writer, reminds us that he said in his comment, comment that in a wealthy home those days, there were no spoons. People are, are eating with greasy foods with their hands. Think about that. And wipe their hands on bread and then throw the bread away. Wow. And this discarded bread was Lazarus' share. He was living on it. And in this story, Jesus reveals a kind of a search in the situation. And life is not really the way it looks here, you know, in the surface. As we all know, Lazarus is amazed upon death to find himself in heaven. And then the rich man was amazed to find himself in torment. And the rich man never thought that he will be there when he, when he thought he is blessed with a lot of things here on earth. And in hell, according to the story, uh, the rich man discovered that caring was important. And he began to call on God to send somebody to help his brother discover the true meaning of life. And Jesus said that we really don't know ourselves. He wants to help us know the truth about ourselves and about life. You know, at that judgment, those who had not cared were surprised at their own blindness. And they cried out to Jesus, when did we sow you hungry and feed you? When did we see you uh, hung, uh, thirsty and we, and, there, and we did give you no drink? And when did we see you sick? And when did we see you pass by? And the other group who had cared by 
you know, by nature or by grace, were equally surprised, you know, those who are doing good. And they said to Jesus, when, when did we see you in need and ministered to you? We were just helping people. You remember Jesus answered, he said that it is really very simple. This thing is caring. A meal, a glass of water, welcoming the stranger, cheering up the sick or comforting the lonely or the grieving. It is just a simple everyday, loving spirit in life relationship. These are the things that anyone can do or not do. They're everyday things and Jesus reveals the greatness of simple daily needs which arise out of love. Remember brothers and sisters, when we do service, when we do ministry, we are not doing this to earn points. When we love Christ, when we are Christians, it is our nature to do these things. In other words, we don't help others just for a show. We help others because it is our spirit to help. Our spirit touched by the spirit of Christ makes us caring people. And the spirit of caring brings us close to God. And everyone know Mother Teresa? Of Calcutta bless her life. A young sister just having come into the group had picked up a dying man from the from the streets of Calcutta. He was dirty, covered with you maggots. She washed him, cleaned him up, fed him, and made him comfortable. And that night, Mother Teresa was in worship with the group. And she whispered, today, I have touched the body of Christ. What a testimony of Sister Teresa by being with those who are marginalized, to those poor, to those sick, when he offered her hands, cleaned them, helped them, she touched the body of Christ. Are we a caring people? Am I a caring person? When people come into my presence with a problem, do I really care? Does my heart go out to them? Is the spirit of Christ present in my conversation? Am I totally given to them and to their problem for that moment of time? Do we really care? Care about our neighbors and their problems? Care about our husbands and wives, our children, our parents? Do we really care for each other? Or do we hurt when others hurt? Christ did that. They knew through him that God cared and they were healed. Christianity is the continuance of this blessed caring. The act of healing by caring. I praise God that in our anniversary, we never left the stamp of what it is to serve the Lord. That even in the storms that we have been through, For 53 years, we have journeyed. And now we are facing the pandemic and still is really a tough challenge. But is this gonna change our heart in serving? We praise God that we have, in spite of the, the pandemic slowing our ministry. Instead, the more that we give our time the more that we sacrifice and bless his name thanks be to god that we have our food pantry every friday thanks we thank god for our volunteers our faithful people 
from this place, from this faith community. We thank God for uh, their, their resilience, their faithfulness, that even when they uh, are health, they have health issues, when they have other reasons not to come, still they are willing and they are there giving their time every Friday. And also every other Thursday that we have this food night ministry that we partner with our brothers and sisters in, in downtown with Pastor Munich's ministry. What a blessing that we can do that. And we continue to do giving our, what we have to clothe those people who are in need of clothing, to feed those who are hungry. We partner also with, with uh, our brothers and sisters with, uh, with this clothes that, and health kit that we offer every six months. What a blessing that we do that. And other than that, we have ministries that we offer our services during the weekdays in our workplaces, in our families, in the community. These are signs that you never wavered and the stamp of being a follower of Jesus Christ has never left in your heart. So what else can I say? Caring is the main thing for us as we follow Christ that serving the Lord is not just within the four walls of this building. There is certain glory in caring. The cup of cold water is in the name of Jesus. It isn't just water. It's not just a hydrogen and oxygen mixed together, but this is water given with the love of God, of Christ, given in love and compassion. As we put those sandwiches together, it's not those ingredients that we offer, but out of express, out of love that comes from us, is what matters to them. Like Jesus at the well, we by the grace of God are the givers of the waters of life. But remember that the woman at the well, And the woman realized that she needs that water of life that only Jesus can give. Brothers and sisters, may we continue to be faithful and true in our reaching out to people and love them unconditionally. And let us affirm our services in our song that we sing every time and let us affirm that again that yes they will know that we are christians by our love may god bless us all as we continue to be faithful blessing others beyond ourselves may god be glorified thanks be to god amen We are invited to offer resources, time, abilities, compassion, and a tangible expression of our hope of the future of our souls. This community of faith and many others near and far away. Be generous, my friends, with your trust in the future. May the ushers come forward.
You shall stand. God of justice and mercy, we come to worship you this day as ones who are more like the rich man in the gospel story than we are Lazarus. The parable Jesus tells us, reminds us that the chasm between rich and poor is hard to cross in the life to come, but not so for us this day as we strive to see God's kingdom at work in our world. As we offer gifts today, may we do so striving to be those blessed by, to be a blessing. In Christ's holy name we pray, amen. Let's all be seated at this time and before Pastor John will do uh, our joys and concerns, I don't want to pass without uh, uh, sharing you what we are doing uh, as a church, uh, do our mission and outreach and uh, Thank you, Sister uh, Carla, for uh, doing it. The first part of our what we do as a church in last Sunday, and it was uh, so inspiring that uh, we are, the church is engaged. And so today we have a slide uh, for what uh, we are doing, especially in the Philippines. And this is uh, the mission we do at the Ata community in Tralak. So uh, we have slides ready. And before that, I would like to ask Ati Joe, if you are there in our Zoom, to please give us a little bit of a snapshot of what uh, we are doing in the Ata community in, uh, in Tarlac. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh Good morning, Paul. Good morning, everyone. And uh, before uh, someone start the video that uh, we had a, a year mission outreach in the Philippines, the AITAS, I would just like to take this opportunity to, uh, on behalf of the AITAS in the Philippines, La Kappa Starlock Philippines, uh, to thank all those who have supported this uh, Mission Outreach, Grace United Methodist Church, the Christian Warriors, and my hometown uh, church. And um, I would just like you to know that uh, this uh, this ITAS uh, had several villages. It consists of uh, 24 to 150 families and uh, Grace United Methodist Church. And uh, uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for supporting uh, uh, this ministry, this outreach with with uh, other. Uh, with other uh, team, the Christian Warriors. And um, we were able to provide about uh, 12 villages consisting of, uh, I said, 24 to 150 families. They are the poorest among the poor, the neediest among the needy. And we don't only provide uh, uh, their immediate needs, but like the groceries, uh, 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 school supplies, uh, vitamins for the children, but also the meat supply livelihood like the root crops um, and like uh, the ginger and uh, uh, yam, they, they plant it and then um, they, upon harvest, uh, they share it with other communities. And, in spite of, and besides that, the water system, they need uh, drinking water, clean water and we provided the accessories that they needed, like the PVC and, and water pump, and they, and they themselves install it and make a water reservoir. We also provided solar light. And um, um, we were not able to do it last year, but this year um, I was able, thank you, Lord, that I was able to do it with um, my friends, the coordinator, and uh, Carla, Sister Carla, thank you for sending it la last time. And this time we were also blessed that uh, Pastor Kambi and his wife was able to join me uh, two years ago. That 
the start of pandemic. And uh, thank you. And as, as the scripture said, uh, Matthew 25, 40, whatever you did to uh, the list of this brother of mine, you did it to me. Thank you and to God be the glory. I'll ask someone to present the video. And all of the people of God says, Amen. And now let's uh, be in the moment of uh, uh, being together as a faith community. And uh, thank you, Pastor, for uh, leading us and let us come together. And Pastor Jim will lead us in our ministry. Good morning, everyone. God is good all the time. 
on all the time? God is good. God is good. Wow, that was powerful presentation. Thank you, Ate Joe, and thank you, Pastor, for sharing those, uh, those slides of our outreach ministry uh, in the IDAS community. So thank you so much. Uh, this reminds me of our Bible study last, last uh, Friday. Uh, our group has been studying the meaning of the Lord's Prayer and uh, it has been a wonderful study and we talk about personal holiness and social holiness which are the basic you know uh, teachings of john wesley and jesus as well you know uh, the great commandment that god the love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and of course love your neighbor as you love yourself that is what christianity is all about and thank you for affirming that once again it's not enough for us to just have a personal relationship with Christ. We have to live that out by loving our neighbors as ourselves. Thank you for the message as well, Pastor. So here we are. Happy fall. <laughs> My goodness, it's a fall. It's the fall, fall season, isn't it? Oh, beautiful, though. God has sustained us all throughout these seasons of life. And here we are, we are starting the season of fall. So any blessings related to all of these, how God has sustained us, any blessings, any celebrations you would like us to, to celebrate and to acknowledge those in the Zoom as well as here in the sanctuary? Now is the time for you to share. Anyone? Pastor June? Yes, Ati Chading. I just want to thank the congregation for their prayers for my niece. She has gotten past the danger point and she is now at the level of maintaining. She has uh, felt all the prayers and extends her greetings and thank you to our, uh, to all of us that have shown our concern for her. And I thank you also. Thank, thank you, you. Mm -hmm. thank you, Dang, for that beautiful, wonderful, good news uh, about Angelica. Is that her name? Angelina. Angelina, yes, Angelina. Mm -hmm. I'm very poor with names. So thank you for that good news, Dang, and we'll continue to, to pray for Angelina, of course. God is good. All the time. Indeed. So thank you, and we will pray for her, you know, um, as part of our prayer concerns as well. Any other good news? Or before we, I forget, we have birthday celebrants. Mrs. Ba Vanji Camby will be celebrating. She's like offering her a face. <laughs> She's celebrating her birthday on the 26th. Tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday, Manang Vanji. Oh, what a blessing you are. Yes, let's clap our hands. <laughs> Excuse me. Happy birthday, Manang Vanji. We celebrate with you. And of course, uh, Sister Aurora Lacerna will be celebrating her birthday on, on the 30th as well. Any other celebrations, celebrants? Yes. I thank God, Manny, my son, just had his birthday, 59th birthday. Yes. 21. 21? Oh, wow. Happy birthday too, Manny. <laughs> September 21. Wow, that is like the declaration of martial law in the Philippines. <laughs> September 21. Yeah, happy birthday to any other celebrations. Yes. Ronan was baptized yesterday. What? When was it? Was it was here? Oh, wow. Well, congratulations, Ronan. Wow, happy birth, uh, happy baptism. Right, hey, what's his name again? Ronan. Yeah, I just want to be sure. I don't want to mis mis uh, pronounce this. Ronan, happy baptism. Now you belong to this faith community, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all these wonderful celebrations. Let's come to the Lord and offer this uh, uh, prayer of thanksgiving. Let us pray. Oh, holy God, we thank you that we could celebrate all these 
blessings and gifts that you have given us that we have received from you. We thank you that we could celebrate the birthday in advance of Manang Vanji and Sister Aurora, and we could celebrate the birthday of Brother Manny. Lord, we thank you that we see them alive and healthy, and it's a manifestation that you have sustained them again this past year. We thank you for making them blessings to us. We pray that you continue to bless these brothers and sisters of ours, that you continue to journey with them and hold them closer to you, Lord, and that they may continue to grow mature in their faith in you and in their relationship with you too, dear God. And bless their family and loved ones as they surround them with their love and their support as well. We thank you that um, uh, baby Ronan was baptized yesterday, and we are so grateful that he has become a member of this faith community and as a faith community together with his parents help us and challenge us to continue to work together in rearing this child in bringing this child into the christian faith and that as he grows not only physically but also in spiritually that he will come to know you personally oh god and that he will also come to serve you and 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 follow you and I, we pray that you uh, help him grow um, a wonderful life and a successful life, oh God, and bless his parents, that they too will uh, be provided all the resources that they need to, uh, especially that love, uh, to raise this wonderful child that you've entrusted to them. So we offer all this prayer of thanksgiving, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Any other things? Any other concerns? Yes, Ate. Please pray for the travel of my daughter Mimi. She is going to the Philippines tomorrow. Wow. And please pray for the Philippines, especially Luzon. There is a strong typhoon. There is a super typhoon yeah. right now that's approaching Luzon. They said that it's 173 uh, uh, kilometer per hour. I think it's very strong, you know, uh, so let's pray for the Philippines as well, indeed, and we pray for Mimi. Any other uh, uh, prayers before? Hi, Pastor Joyce. Hi, hi, Joyce. Yes. Good morning. I just wanted to ask for continuous prayer for my mom. Uh -huh. And... You know, we just pray for peace and comfort, continue to pray for her, and thank you for all the prayers as well, for those people who always pray for her. Thank you for the cards, Lillian, thank you so much. Um, Pastor, Pastor Alex has been visiting mom every Friday, and we just want to uh, just continue to pray for her. Uh, so far, God is good, you know. Thank you so much. God is really, really good. And I just wanted to update you. She is she's, uh, always in bed. She's not able to walk now. But... <clears throat> You know, God sometimes bring angels or people in your in your uh, life, and I've got two wonderful caregivers that uh, help my mom all the time. So thank you for all your prayers. Thank you, Joyce, for that update on Manang Luz, and we certainly continue to pray for her and for you too. So let's now come to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Oh, Holy God, we thank you again that we could pray these requests and concerns as a faith community. Indeed, we continue to pray for Manang Luz as she faces all these changes in her life. We pray that you please be present with her. Continue to sustain her with your, with, with your abundant grace, with your gifts of strength every day your gifts of comfort and peace, especially. Peace of, of mind, peace of heart, peace of the spirit. 
that she may continue to know you are by her side all the time. We commit Manang Luz to you now, and may your will be done in her life. We pray for Joyce that she may continue to have the strength of body, mind, and spirit as well as she takes care of Manang Luz and, and give Joyce the patience that she needs every day, with, as we know is very challenging of, to be a caregiver and that Joyce will be able to find strength and hope and peace in her faith in you too, O oh God. Uh, we thank you for all those people, loved ones and friends and, and people here at church who are reaching out to Manang Luz to remind her that, uh, that she is not alone and that we are here for her as well. And so we pray for your blessings upon Manang Luz. We also pray for your continued blessing upon Angelina, that she may receive healing, continue to receive healing and renewal, and that you sustain her too with your blessings of, of comfort and strength every day. And may all the prayers that are being offered for Angelina be, be a source of comfort and hope for her as well. We pray for your traveling mercies upon Mimi as she goes back to the Philippines tomorrow, <clears throat> that you <clears throat> watch over her and bring her home safely, O oh God, and that <clears throat> give her the calm heart and the calm spirit to know that you are by her side as well and that you protect her from all harms. And as we offer these prayers to you, Lord, we offer <clears throat> our prayers for those in the Philippines, our brothers and sisters, in the Philippines who are affected by the super typhoon, please, Lord, help the government of the Philippines to provide necessary support to those who will be affected by this typhoon, oh God, that they may be able to provide them resources for them to support themselves. As we offer this prayer for our fellow Filipinos in the Philippines, we offer those who are affected by the typhoon in the south as well here in this country. And uh, uh, as we remember them, O oh God, help us to continue to be your blessings, especially those who are affected by these calamities, that in our simple ways may we be able to reach out to them. So Lord, we offer all these prayers to you now. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayers. Anything else before we conclude our faith community prayer? No more? <clears throat> All right, let's conclude our prayer then. Lord, as we conclude this prayer, we pray for your blessing upon each one of us here. We pray, please pray for each home that is represented in this worship service. That may you continue to dwell in our homes. And that may you be a part of our relationships at home with our loved ones. As you dwell in our homes, please dwell in our hearts as well. And that through you and through our faith in you, may we continue to have that peace that passes all understanding. And as we offer those prayers to you, Lord, we offer those now in the silence of our hearts. And so I invite each one of you now to bring everything that you keep in your hearts right now, your worries, your anxieties, the burdens that you carry, please offer them to the Lord in this moment. We ask all this now in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Thank you, Pastor Jun, for leading us. And I just want to have a PS uh, this time. 
I never had a chance to express my sincerest appreciation for the church uh, for giving me uh, the opportunity to have a getaway. I mean, vacation. And it was really a fruitful one between me and my better half. And uh, it's a joy. And uh, thank you for the grace that is uh, attached to your prayers, uh, your love. And how can we say thank you, but uh, we ask that the Lord will continue to bless you abundantly as a church. And especially, uh, personally, uh, for Pastor June, a brother and a colleague, for taking my place during those days that I'm away. And I know that uh, she sacri he sacrificed his time and because of that, got some health issues at this time, but I'm sure that he is getting better. And uh, what a blessing for us to have pastor with a gracious heart that we have here at Grace. And may God bless you, Pastor June, and in ministry. And even right now, while I was, I, he was uh, ministering to us, I think he has some health issues as well. So we need not think of ourselves, but for our leaders and pray for, for uh, healing and for fullness so that he can do his, his function and, and with, uh, with high spirit for the Lord. So God bless you, Pastor Jim. And uh, for that, uh, I'd like to ask all of us to uh, stand as you are able to sing our closing song, God will take care of you. for being with us. Thank you for the wonderful time together. It's not because <coughs> we, have, we are here out of practice, but along with that, with a gracious heart, praising you because we know, Lord, that here we can meet you, we can be with each other, I can be renewed and given this high spirit to go to the world to be of service and make a big difference in the, in the world. So Lord, bless us as we go from this place. Brothers and sisters, our service, our worship is just over but our work continues, our ministry continues, 
And may we all share our hands and our feet, our all, to build the kingdom of God in this place, here and now. And may God's peace that passes all understanding, God's spirit empower you and anoint you. And may we all be uh, blessed in our lives and become channels of blessings for others. Now, go until we meet again. Amen. Thank you.